Funky Magic. Do you like adding bows to your cards? Well, this is a new item that's being put into my shop. My film crew's put on his woodworking hat again, and he has come up with this little device called a bow maker. So it's got dowels of two different sizes and the holes are set at different spaces. The small ones will make you small bows, but the bigger ones will make you bows in different sizes. This will be a one and a half inch, this is a two and a half inch, and if you use the pegs at the furthest distance, that will give you a really big four inch bow for your cards. So this has been made from a solid piece of wood. It's stable and it won't fall over. You have, you need two pegs to make the bigger bows, two pegs for smaller bows. You just have an extra one should you lose one of these. But they all are removable so that we can post it to you nice and easily. So the first thing you need to do is decide what kind, what, what size of bow you want on your project. So I'm going to use the two holes that are the smallest and the thinnest dowel. And I'm just going to pop them in there. So what I need to do is take a piece of ribbon and I'm leaving this on the spool. I'm not even taking it off the spool. But bring yourself a piece of ribbon that comes around the two dowels that you've chosen and I'm going to cross the left side over the right side. Now the side that I've crossed over I'm going to push through the dowels and I'm going to bring it so that it tightens the ribbon up like that. Then bring it across over the ribbon that you've just wrapped around and all I'm going to do then is tie this in a knot. Just tie it on the back in a knot and pull it tight and that will tighten the center part for you there. Now once you slide that off the dowels you now have a nice neat little bow that you can add to your cards. Now by leaving yourself the length of ribbon on either side of the small bow you've left yourself enough ribbon to be able to wrap that around the, the, the card base before you add it to the main part of the card and you can fill the center of the, the little knot with a diamante or a little button or anything you wish. So now we're going to make bows that are just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to take the small pegs out and put two pegs into the next two holes down and this ribbon is wider than the last one so I'm going to do exactly the same thing bring it around the pegs cross the left over the right push it through the gap bring it to the front and then just tie it in a knot pull it tight And once you slide that off the dowels, you now have a bow that is ready to go onto your cards. Now tying the bow that way will just give you enough ribbon to add it to your cards. But supposing you want the little tails in it as well. So this is what we're going to do to get the tails. Take your length of ribbon, bring it around your dowels, cross the left over the right and push it the loose end through the gap. Bring it to the front and start to tie your knot. But don't pull it too tight because what you're going to do is push another piece of ribbon through that gap. And you're going to make sure that it faces the front of the bow and then you can pull this tight. So now when you take it off the dowels you have got the little tails 
that come down on your bow. So I'm just going to twist that around so that we've got the pattern to the front. But now we've got the tails that add the bow and we have the rest of the, the ribbon that will fasten to the card. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to tie the double bow. And it's very pretty to add to your cards. So you need a length of ribbon. You're going to bring it around the two dowels, cross the left over the right, but instead of tying it into a knot now, you're going to take it around the, the, the dowels in a figure eight. Again, bring your left over your right, and this time you can push that underneath the ribbon between the two dowels and bring it across the ribbon to the front and tie that in a knot. And now when you slide that off the dowels, you can separate the two little bows and that will give you a pretty effect for your cards. So I'm going to undo this ribbon and I'm going to show you how to do the same effect but this time with three loops. So again, bring the ribbon onto the dowels and cross the left over the right. Then you're going to figure eight the ribbon around the dowels and bring it back to the front. Cross the left over the right and go around again. Then when you bring it to the front, this time you've crossed over the left to the right, you're going underneath the ribbons between the dowels and you bring in the ribbon back over there to towards yourself and then you're going to tie that in a knot and you're going to pull it quite tight and now when you slide that off the dowels you can separate the, the ribbon out and this time you have three bows and you'll get a nice effect for your cards. So I'm now going to move on to a wider ribbon and I'm going to move the pegs. These two are one and a half inches apart but by leaving the centre one and moving this one to the end that now gives me a two and a half inch gap. So to tie a single bow put them round the dowels left over right, slide that underneath the ribbon, through the gap and bring it forward and tie a knot. And once you slide that off the dowels, you have the bow that will go on your cards. But if you want to do a double bow, I'm taking this apart, all you need to do is just undo the knot and I'm going to do a double bow. So I'm doing the same thing, I'm leaving a good length of ribbon, I'm bringing it left over right, but this time I'm going around the pegs again and it will come back to the front and again left over right. Now if I slide my end of my ribbon through the gap, underneath the ribbons and through the gap, that will tie a double bow. But if I want to do a third bow, then I need to go round again and go left over right, slide the ribbon underneath all those layers of ribbon through that gap and bring it to the back and tie it in a knot. And again, I'm going to tie it quite tightly. And now with the wider ribbon, slide that off the dowels and separate the, the, the ribbons, the bows, and that will give you a triple bow to add to your card. So once you add a bow like this to your cards 
and you add something to cover the knot, that really makes a difference to the effect that you'll get. This one is a triple bow and I've added some flowers to the centre. So this is a double bow that's been created on the bow maker and this is using wire ribbon. So now we're going to work with some satin ribbon that's about an inch wide and I'm going to work with it at the widest point. So I've moved the pegs now into each of the biggest holes leaving the centre one free. And again I'm going to take a nice long piece of ribbon and I'm going to bring it around the pegs and cross it over but I'm going to make a double bow so I'm taking it around the pegs and bringing it back to towards me cross the left over the right push it under the ribbon and through the gap and bring it around to the front and then I'm just going to keep the ribbon as neat as I can and tie it in a knot and pull tight and now when I slide that off I have got myself the double bow in the satin ribbon that can be added to my cards So if I now want the bow with the little tails on it, I'm going to do a double bow, take the ribbon around the pegs, cross it over, bring it back towards yourself, left over right and push the end through that gap. So I'm now going to tie my knot, but before I pull it tight, I'm going to push another length of ribbon through that gap. And I'm going to keep it as neat as I can and then I'm going to pull the ribbon tight and now when I slide it off I have ribbon that will fasten the bow to the card but I also have the tails in the ribbon and just play around with it and adjust it so that you get it as neat as you want it but there is the double bow with the tails. So there you have a handy little bow maker with pegs in it to produce different sized bows. This is now going to be available in my shop on the website cardmakingmagic.com. You have bows of different sizes made from different fabrics silks, wire ribbons, satins, little grow grain ribbons, you have single bows, double bows, triple bows, all make wonderful additions to your cards. Mm -hmm.